the the way fraud is evolving year after year, um, it is making it harder for banks to um, to detect. Banking is no longer what it used to be back in the day. Most banks now have teams that go to war against fraudsters and scammers to protect customers and themselves. As Valley News Team's Joshua Pagero finds out, these new security measures may impact how long it takes before you get your cash, but there's no turning back. Tracy Gillis says she's been operating her own massage parlor for 18 years. Gillis says she offers her customers discounts if they pay with a cash or check. Most pay with checks. I don't have to pay for the, the credit card fees, and they don't have to pay for the credit card fees. But as of late, she says she's considering not taking them. I'm going to probably have to tell all those, that 90% of my clientele that write checks, that they're going to have to get a debit card and pay with a debit card. Gillis says it's because she can no longer call in to see if funds are available in a bank account. This policy does not protect the consumer. This policy does not protect you with your bank account. Banks have made changes to how they do business to protect themselves and consumers. Several banks tell us they are the target of check scams. Someone, whether they know it or not, will get a check in the mail, deposit it, and the bank will clear some funds. But closer scrutiny by the banks will later reveal it's fraudulent. You know, we see that targeted towards college students, you know, especially towards like the beginning of the school year. Um, they'll, you know, they'll send out emails saying, hey, do you want to make some money, maybe do a survey for us. Phil Swan, fraud supervisor at Gate City Bank, says they're focused on educating the public on these scams. First main component that you're going to see with a scam is a sense of urgency. So the fraudster is going to build that into their scam because they know that their scam has a short life cycle. While these banking employees have seen all different type of scams, scammers are always changing. I mean, we still see check fraud, but we see a lot of um, wire fraud. At Bell Bank, Stacey Iverson was trained by federal agencies to spot crimes like money wiring for human trafficking. You wouldn't think that it happens around here, you know, the trafficking, but it does right here in Fargo. So. Um, it is something that uh, myself and my team, we monitor for that as well. They also have fraud and anti-money laundering software that picks up questionable transactions. It's just going to continue to get harder uh, as the years go by and the, and the fraud evolves. While the new security measures may cause an inconvenience for consumers, the role of banks has changed and they attribute it to 9-11. In Fargo, Joshua Peguero, Valley News Live. Both banks say the new safety measures they've put in place, such as placing a hold on checks, has cut down on their fraud losses. And if you need help with an issue in your community, call our whistleblower hotline, 237-6576, and leave your tip. A member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work to expose the truth.